I'm out for another shed hunt. And uh, yeah, I just uh, spooked off a bunch of mule deer here. So that's a good sign. I wasn't sure if I was in a good spot or not. Um, it is a south facing slope, so got some clearings here. And uh, yeah, there was a bunch of them that just ran off here. So that was cool. Just, it didn't seem like there was a lot of food in this area. So I didn't, oh, there, there they are. Some of them. Yeah, it didn't seem like there was a lot of food in this area for them, but what do we have here? Looks like some wild rose here. Seem to like that. So, I guess there are patches here and there. It's good to know that they're here, though. So I made my way down this trail that led down to the water. Seems like the cattle use this to get down here and drink from the stream. These valley bottoms do seem to have a lot of um, food for the deer. Got some dogwood and some uh, wild rose here. But so far I don't really see too much other than uh, signs of cattle here, so I think I'm going to make my way up the, up the hillside and then uh, head back to the truck and maybe move to a new location. Well, I uh, came to a new spot. And again, I've got um, moose or elk droppings and uh, some signs, some tracks. And this area is uh, a lot more dense. So they seem to like uh, the more dense cover. So that's kind of like the areas that I'll have to come back to. You can see there's still quite a bit of snow here, but uh, there's still some activity through here. I see some, uh, I see some tracks right there. So, anyways, I'll have a, a look through here, anyways, just to finish off the day. Well, I spotted some elk down here. I'm sure there's more down there somewhere.
I actually think there's only two there now. I thought there was three, but I've only been able to see two. Man, is it ever muddy here. You wouldn't want to uh, bring your truck down here. Probably why that van is sitting there, because you got stuck. Well, this is a squirrel house now. Holy. Yeah, I'd say that's a squirrel's house. Wow. Crazy. Might as well have a look in here, see what I find. Well, I found this in this drawer. I could fill up uh, the one I have in my truck, since this is in uh, high demand now. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I can hear the squirrel in here making noise. I'll keep looking. Yeah, pretty much every drawer is just full of <laughs> full of cones. And uh, I did see one of the squirrels, a couple of them actually, run out. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep going. I don't have much time before it gets dark. Well, I almost made it down to the river. But it's getting late in the day. And uh, I know it's going to be a... Uh, challenge getting back up and I want to make sure I get back up within most mostly daylight I do have a good headlamp so I should be fine regardless but uh, problem now is that uh, as I'm making my ascent my legs are cramping up <sighs> hmm yeah I'm not sure what I can do there like that uh, Stellar's Jay is mimicking the, uh, yeah, he's mimicking the um, red-tailed hawk. That's, that's cool. Looks like there's another trailer down there. Clearly these guys brought these down and then weren't able to remove them more. I don't know if they left them on purpose or what. <laughs> Man, I don't remember the last time my legs were this sore. Yeah. 
been having to take breaks just because my legs right there. You could feel it every time. It's like cramping up just above the knee on the insides. I'm sure my wife would know what muscle that is. Oh. But yeah, so far, you know, this year hasn't been the greatest for shed hunting. I really only found two to date. So, that kind of sucks. But, uh, still lots of time. I uh, hope to uh, get out more into this area because I still do see a lot of sign through this, um, this thicker type of forest. So, once it uh, melts a little more, I'll try to get back out here. But, uh, Lots of places to explore still. See what happens.